Thank you for checking out the municipal market update that has been updated for the week of February 16th, 2021. Uh, yesterday, the day that I did the MMM recording, we actually had a substantial change or increase in the 10-year treasury. And so we wanna take a moment to provide an update to what we provided yesterday. So my name is Adam Bauer. I serve as CEO and President of Film and Rollup and Associates. Film and Rollup and Associates is a municipal advisor to government. If I would focus on that first table there with the green top, the MMD yield, this information is very similar to what I showed you yesterday in a line chart. And you can see how, if you look at that column tiled current, how the MMD is a little bit higher as years go on and still considered very low. And I've talked about flat yield curve, which I've also talked about many on many other occasions. If we go down to the table with the red top on it called US Treasury yield. There, if you look at current, what I'd really like you to focus on is that that 10 year is at 1.3 and a 30 year is at 2.08. And if you go to the column to the right of that, you see daily change. And you can see that five years and on, rates have gone up substantially. So 10 year Treasury has uh, gone up. And generally, this is a this could be an indicator to where the muni market could be heading, um, but to date, we haven't seen that. We've seen MMD continue to just increase slightly. If you look at the table with green above, uh, you can see we just went up by two basis points five years and on, um, where we've gone up quite a more than that with the US Treasury. And in the bottom chart with the black top, that probably doesn't mean much to you because uh, we haven't looked at the percentage, how U.S. Treasury and the MMD compare to each other, we're going to start layering that in because the way things are uh, shaping up, that's probably going to be data that's going to be interesting going forward. But the most interesting chart I've seen in a while is the chart just above me in this presentation, and that is the two-year and 10-year U.S. Treasury. And you can see I've been uh, talking so much about how the yield curve is very flat. And you certainly would see that from like the end of 2019 until the very beginning of 2020. Um, and you can see that gap started to spread. But what's probably most interesting is that, that you can see that US Treasury, the 10 year continues to go up, but the two year has not. So that gap is getting wider and wider. So in this case, I, these investors are uh, requiring a lot more for uh, holding or long-term investment versus a short-term investment. So that yield curve is getting steeper. We'll see if this carries over to municipals, but we thought that since we saw such a substantial change in treasuries uh, over a short period of time, we wanted to make sure we provide some updated information. So on our last page, uh, just want to highlight our Phil and Olap registered missile advisors. I encourage you to reach out to any one of them. We thank you for your time. For some of you, it would have been uh, twice in one week. Um, look forward to talking with you again at early March.